Right, so nothing quite reads as hilariously as an immigrant joining the vehemently anti-migrant Reform UK, having just signed up the Leanderthal, Lee Anderson as their first MP, hardly a guy known for sympathising with migrants, but it's all okay, because this particular immigrant is white, I suppose, and just happens to be married to a billionaire, so who knows? Big donations winging their way to Reform UK coffers soon. Well, it means Richard Tice won't have to keep self-financing the operation, won't it? The immigrant in question is Australian former singer and actress Holly Valance, who has become more well-known for spouting right-wing drivel as opposed to displaying any discernible entertainment talent and value. But if this is what Reform UK are hoping will be a winning coup, taking on Valance as a high-profile member, then what comes out of her mouth really ought to serve as a warning instead. Right, so Holly Valance, she seemed such a nice girl on Neighbours once upon a time, didn't she? Well, now she's joined Reform UK and wants Nigel Farage to return to lead it, no less, all despite being an immigrant herself, joining an anti-migrant party, but then she's white and she speaks English, so I suppose that makes her the right sort of immigrant. She's married to big money, too. I can't imagine what drew her to lockdown party rule breaker and billionaire property tycoon Nick Candy, and so there's a potential new big donor for the party, too. No, it wasn't that long ago that Valance had us all in fits after attending the launch of the Popular Conservatives movement. I think it was just last month, wasn't it? Because, of course, she was there. Hubby Nick Candy is a long-time Tory donor. And she had some rather interesting things to tell to GB News, who absolutely love her. And have you always been a right or centre person, or is that are you a Conservative? How, where are you politically? I would say that everyone starts off as a lefty and then wakes up at some point after you start either making money, working, trying to run a business, trying to buy a home, and then realise what crap ideas they all are, and then you go to the right. And you heard, of course, Liz Trust speak just now, um, Jacob Rees-Mogg. How did you find that? Who was your favourite speaker? Oh, the speakers today were fantastic. I thought Liz was actually really, really um, interesting to listen to. Jacob for PM. Um, <laughs> Well, what a surprise. Marrying a billionaire and having made probably not a bad income through her own fame beforehand as a pound shop Kylie Minogue led to her, it would appear, not to be too keen to part with her money. Certainly that's how it comes across there. Finding Liz Truss interesting is something I can only fathom would be true from a position of scientific experimentation, trying to work out how somebody so woefully out of their depth ever managed to get so far in life. And as for wanting to see the haunted pencil Jacob Rees-Smog as Prime Minister, well... With an attitude like that, she'll be on question time before much longer. Wouldn't that be fun? But of course, this isn't, therefore, somebody to take seriously. This is somebody driven completely by self-interest. And nothing proves that more than going from heralding Liz Truss and Mogg to joining Reform UK as the Tory party implodes and pushing for the return of Nigel Farage, because evidently this is in Little Miss I'm Rich's self-interest. Really, this video shouldn't be so much about Balance herself, though. Frankly, a lot of people... Whoever knew who she even was have forgotten by and large anyway, and those who do remember her, well, why should we care what she thinks anyway? Who cares what she thinks? Well, to my mind, it's more about who or what she represents now. The wealthy, the rich and powerful, and in that regard, who they are backing. Because as ordinary working class people who want change and benefit to ourselves for a change for once, after years and years and years of being put upon and austerity and all the services we rely on collapsing around us, we should be running from the hills from whoever they want to support because they have no interest in things being run that way. Reform UK are very much trying to push the line that they're for the working class people. And it's for the birds when you hear more and more of Valance on GB News because they really do love her. And the narrative she's pushing, which she supports through a party that also thinks likewise. For someone so apparently self-absorbed, why would she join a party that is altruistic in nature after all? rather than driven towards becoming the mainstream replacement of the Tory party. Just an even more right-wing version of it, but who cares if they're more right-wing, as long as wealthy people continue to be allowed to hoard their wealth and become ever more wealthy, at the expense of the rest of us, of course. If Valance is the sort of person they want as a public face for their politics, they might want to rein her in, though. She thinks net zero is ludicrous. She thinks Australia has gone woke and wouldn't want to live there anymore. She thinks talk of climate change is alarmism. She says boys don't need to put on dresses to be interesting as a swipe at trans people. She called Greta Thunberg a demonic little gremlin high priestess of climatism who depresses kids and thinks her warnings on the climate will make kids think what is the point of going to school if we're all just going to die. The idea is to try and make them think and do things differently and to avoid that. 
to change, not resign ourselves to it and enjoy the sunshine because I'm rich and I won't live to see that happen. But that appears to be the mindset on display because she just doesn't want anything to change. She's ludicrous way past the point of awful, actually. So it's no wonder GB thinks she's the best thing since sliced white bread. I've rarely seen anyone display such a I couldn't care less attitude than this. It really is something. But then she'll never have to work another day in her life and will live in the lap of luxury for the rest of her days. All I can say is, if this is the sort of person that Reform UK appeals to, then if you were planning to back them too, what the heck are you thinking? Or is the migrant bashing bit your last pleasure in life? It's the only thing that really sets them apart from other right-wing parties because they obsess over it a little bit more. There's an interesting twist to all this, though. I mentioned earlier that Reform might benefit from donations coming their way by bringing Valance on board, but they haven't actually brought her husband on board because the Tory owner, Nick Candy, is also making noises about maybe jumping ship, is that he's perhaps lending his weight towards wanting to support Keir Starmer's Labour Party instead. Some of the right wing in the media are wondering, well, how is this going to go down at home? I'm sure there'll be arguments here. <laughs> I wonder what's going to be said. Wouldn't you love to be a fly on the wall with Valance backing the hard right and Candy the left? But Starmer's no lefty. They know that. Those of us who take interest in such things, we know it too. And fundamentally, it comes down to Tory infighting and Starmer's crawling to big business that have earned him Candy's appreciation. And on a recent podcast, Candy said, it is probably time for a change in the country's leadership. He described Starmer as a decent man with good values and good morals, even if we still don't know the Labour policies. If you think Starmer is a man of morals, I've a bridge to sell you, frankly. But he is open to donor influence, my goodness, yes. He accepts hospitality like no Labour leader before him. And the reason he has no policies yet is probably because they're up for sale as well. Though the bidding of the £28 billion Green Prosperity Plan will clearly appeal to your more right-wing missus. Candy gave more than £100,000 to the Tories whilst Boris Johnson was leader, was ready to leave the country if Jeremy Corbyn became PM in 2017, having already wired all of his money out of the country, but also admitted having voted for Tony Blair back in the day because, well, he's as much of a Tory as Starmer is, of course. So we have a married couple, right wing, two former Tory supporters, big time Tory donors, one of whom is now backing the former Brexit party, Reform UK, and another extolling the praises for Keir Starmer's Labour both parties being heavily pushed by various sections of the media as to change the country needs, right-wing media that is, when in fact it would just be more of the same as those with influence, power, means, money, telling them to tell us to vote like them, but in their self-absorbed interests, not in our own interests. It doesn't really matter that GBB's latest darling is a Z-list, once upon a time soap star. We don't have to care either. But knowing where she's from, where she is today and the attitudes that she's taking here, the very much who cares about the planet, discrimination against protected characteristics, right wing party support or any of that because I'm rich, should be what is actually taken notice of. But what she's said and done of late only tells me that this is a really self-serving person. And if they are telling others that they should support reform and her husband saying similarly about Labour, having both come from Tory supporting and Tory donating backgrounds, they're hardly the sort of people to go against their own natures and suddenly start thinking in our interest. We should therefore be running a mile from a form UK and Starmer's Labour, as much as we would the Tory party, if we actually want real, meaningful change in our interests, in the interests of the majority of the country. Of course, most of us don't actually watch GBBs and witness their pushing of the likes of Reform UK and pushing Holly Valance at that. But then back when it was the Brexit party, they got mainstream far more readily and more insidiously. The BBC having the likes of Nigel Farage on Question Time so often, it was a running joke he had a reserved seat on the panel. Perhaps Lee Anderson will get that seat now that he's the only Reform UK MP. But really, he's another example of how awful that party is, if he's a representative. And indeed, Valance just happens to think he's great too. But having come a cropper trying to take on the excellent Dawn Butler over immigration, not all that long ago, he ended up hitting the stupid button very hard indeed. If this is who you want running the country, my God, I pity you the dead brain cells you've clearly lost. A story you can find out all about here. I'll hopefully see you on the next bid. Cheers, folks.